welcome back to my channel. Today I have a ginormous Erin Condren Black Friday sale haul to show you guys and I'm super, super excited about everything that I received. Um, there were so many things that I wanted. Um, I had to really break down my cart just because I am in kind of a tougher financial spot right now. Um, but I re I've been waiting to take advantage of the Black Friday sale. So I did have some money set aside that I planned on spending, but I was really lucky because I still had one of my 20% off coupons from um, purchasing a life planner. So I had the 30% off plus the 20% off to use. And then on top of that, I had like 15% off for more accessories. And then I also had another... I think 20% off of um, four more petite planners or whatever that deal is. So basically it was like discount upon discount upon discount. So I did not buy anything in this haul for full price, which is really, really exciting. Um, I'm one of those people that just kind of waits it out for the things that I want. So that way I can like get a really good deal on them. So that's what I did. Um, but yeah, so I got the Erin Condren... Um, little newsletter in with my order and it actually gave me another 20% off coupon. I did cover it up because I think it's different. It's a different code for every um, customer. So I covered that up because I didn't want anybody to steal it, but there's all kinds of good things in her newsletter. I love reading through these and just hearing Erin Condren's thoughts behind her products and she really has a way of getting you excited for the future and for future products. So yeah, I'm super excited. So let me put this to the side. This box is ginormous, you guys. Like I, there's no way I would be able to get this whole thing in the frame. Um, so I just have it over here to the side. I did already open it up and kind of just look at a couple things. Um, but for the most part, I haven't really gone through all of it. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I picked up. Okay, so I kind of organized the box um, so that way when I'm showing you guys it, all the things, it's not too completely random. So let's just start with the covers that I bought myself that I'm really excited about. So first I picked up this new Paisley cover, which I am just obsessed with. I've been seeing it all over the internet and I just think it's so pretty. It's probably my new favorite pattern that she's put out. So I definitely made sure to get this one. Then I got a few seasonal covers. So I am also in love with this pumpkin cover. I really want to get this pattern in one of her Sherpa throws, um, which I did have in my cart, but like I said, I really had to kind of reduce the stuff that I had in there, even with my coupon and just thought, okay, what are the things that I've really been wanting? I do not need another Sherpa throw right now. So I decided no on that. Then I did get some holiday covers because I mentioned in one of my other videos, I have no Christmas covers. So I'm really excited that this came in so that I can slap it on my cover before Christmas. I don't remember what colors I chose, but I think that they turned out really cute. So love that. I love this cover. Um, it's kind of like a charcoal gray with the white floral pattern. I just think it's so pretty and it'll look really pretty with the gray tabs of the neutral um, life planner. So I thought that was really cute. Then I <laughs> fell in love with this polka dot. Um, design that they recently put out and I got it in I think this is mustard because I am obsessed with yellow especially more of a mustard yellow so and on this one so I normally get Taylor Renee on all of my covers but this one you just had an option of like three um initials and so I actually put Tay which I think is really cute so love that one and then I also got another Christmas cover I just decided to put Merry Christmas on this one um, it's super festive. I, I don't know. It's really cute. I love the little stockings and oh, you guys, I am so excited that it's Christmas time. I just can't even express oh, how good it makes me feel. Okay. So those were the covers that I recently got for myself. And then I also did throw in an eight and a half by 11 cover. 
Um, I got Miss Bradley on it, which is my last name, and then Music Teacher underneath. I got this to put on my teacher planner. Um, I actually don't have an Erin Condren teacher planner. I have a plum paper planner one, which next year I think I'm going to go with Erin Condren. I, I like the plum paper planner, but I really missed the Erin Condren. So anyways, it has a coil that I can snap this on over my normal cover. I was just kind of getting bored of my cover, so I wanted to kind of switch it up and have another option. And since I'm so in love with this Paisley pattern, I thought it would look really cute. So... Those are the first things I picked up. Now we're gonna go kind of into some accessories that I picked up. So I'm so excited. I have been wanting to get this designer stapler for a while. Um, I was really torn on getting the gold or the rose gold, but I, I decided to go with the gold only because my box is broken, which kind of makes me sad, but I went with the gold just because I figured it honestly might be easier to match like other desk accessories with because even if I did find like other rose gold desk accessories sometimes the rose like rose gold varies in like the color if you know what I mean like a lot of rose golds like look more pink a lot of them look more gold and I just thought that the gold would be easier to like buy desk accessories to match with but yeah, I'm really excited. I just wanted to get myself some cute accessories for my desk once I start teaching in January. So honestly, I might end up also getting the rose gold once I get moved out into a new place and I have like my own office in my house. Then I may have like rose gold for like my house and gold for my, my school desk. So that's kind of my thought process behind that. Okay, the next couple of things I bought, which I've not gotten any of these yet, but these are the little extra charms that you can add to your planner. I did get the tea, which I don't think I'm going to pull it out right now, but I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. So I got the little tea charm, and then I got, let's get this one out of here. This is the little, I think they call it like a druzy charm, but it's just in the white color. I thought these would be really cute because I've started using the petite planner system, the petite planner folio system, um, more recently, and um, which you'll see I got tons of stuff for petite planners in this haul, but um, so I thought these would be really cute to start adding to my folios. I also did get the fall seasonal surprise box, or sorry, the winter seasonal surprise box. And I know a lot of people were kind of disappointed that it was very petite planner heavy, but I actually loved that just because I've really been getting into that system lately. So it was exciting to have some new things to try and play around with. Okay, then the next thing I picked up were some of these monthly adhesive tabs. They were out of the colorful ones, which were the ones that I really wanted, but I think that these are brand new because I have not seen them yet, but they are foiled, and I think that some of them, yeah, some of them are gold, some of them are silver, and some of them are rose gold. I'm not sure if you can really tell by looking at them, but yeah, these ones are new, and I thought, you know what, I can make these work. Um, I did want the colorful ones, but I think that these will look really pretty, so got those to try out then let's do the next thing I bought is a gift for my boyfriend's daughter so she is five years old in February she turns six but she's been watching me do my planner stuff for I don't know a while now and she's always wanting to help me she wants to put on stickers and draw in it and of course I'm like, don't touch my planner. <laughs> um, but any opportunity that I get when I have like leftover stickers, I'll like give them to her with like a notebook to play around with. But um, I asked her that if, if she wanted a planner of her own and she was like, yes, 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 please, please, please. And so I did decide to buy her the kids planner for Christmas. So I'm really excited. I did already pull this out and switch out the cover. She did not like the out of this world cover that it comes with, but 
Um, so I like whenever I was talking about getting her one, which here I'll zoom in a little bit. When I was talking to her about getting one, um, I got online and let her like play around with designing a cover. And this was what she came up with. And this was actually over the summer. So it's been so long that I'm sure that she like doesn't even remember creating this cover. But I got her name on here. Jane Arabella is her middle name. And yeah, she loves pizza. Pizza is her favorite food. Pink and purple are favorite colors, so of course she wanted to make a pink and purple pizza cover. So I just thought that this turned out so cute. Um, and then I did make a second cover for her just because it was so cheap with all of my coupons. Um, so I made her this little daisy one, which I thought was really pretty. And then this is the cover that it came with. She didn't like it. I think it's just because it's blue and she thinks that anything blue is boyish, but... Um, yeah, so I thought that this turned out really cute and I'm just so excited to sit down and go through this with her. I had no idea that it came with a pouch, which is really exciting. And it comes with a ruler in there. And then, yeah, it just comes with the undated tabs. And so she can go through. So it has these stickers that come with it. And every single month, so let's open it up to the first month. She can... Where is it? There it is. So every month she can add her sticker, add all of her date dots, and then we can put in important events that are happening, which I think will be really fun. It'll start to teach her one, how to start, you know, looking ahead and planning. But apart from that, she's six years old. So I know it's really not gonna be a functional thing. It's just gonna be fun for us to sit down and go through all of these things together. I am going to try and make her wait each month to fill it out so that way she's not just like filling the whole thing out at once and then never touching it again. Um, but I thought it would be fun for us to do together and a way for us to also just document like her life right now. I think, you know, she's in kindergarten and I don't know. I think, I think it'd be fun to look back on. So I'm really excited to gift this to her. Um, I don't have a lot of money this year to spend on her so that's kind of why I was waiting like all year to get this during Black Friday because I was like you know I want to be able to get her other things besides a planner you know she is six so she wants things that she can play with and that sort of thing so I didn't want to spend too much money on this and so waiting for Black Friday just worked out perfectly especially with being able to stack my 20% coupon with it so that worked out really well and then just for fun I also got her this little extra kids pack it comes with some colorful dual tip markers so she can have some of her very own to play with and I don't have to like freak out about her using mine and then it comes with some more stickers. Um, I don't know if I want to. I'll just go ahead and take it out. So it comes with some extra cute little foiled stickers. It's not focusing. Focus. Focus. There we go. And some of these like puffy stickers, which I thought were really fun. I absolutely hate puffy stickers, but I figured she would love them. So yeah, just some extra little sheets for her to have because Lauren knows she's going to want to use all of her stickers at once. And I can also just pick up some like cheaper ones from Michael's or something. But again, since they were on sale, I decided why not just throw in some extra goodies for her. Okay, moving on to some planner, petite planner folio stuff that I bought. I'm super excited about. So let's start with some of the planners and journals that I got for myself. So this is the monthly petite planner. This is dated. I do have an undated monthly petite planner and an undated daily planner. And I have kind of used them on and off since like summer and have decided that I really do like this system for every day and so I feel like this would be a really great way for me to jot down um, things that you know are coming up and then I can transfer them to my um, life planner but I feel like this just gives me a way to plan up plan further ahead 
without really using stickers or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to start using this. I'll show you kind of what my plan is, but it comes with so many notes pages, which I honestly don't really use notes pages a whole lot. Um, I might find a useful way to use all those extra pages, but really I just bought it to have the January through December monthly planner stuff. So that's the first petite planner I got. The next one I got is the first quarter daily planner um, for 2020. So this is January through March. Yes, I know that you can buy all four of them in like a bundle for cheaper, but I don't know if it's going to end up working for me. And if I buy all four of them and then don't end up using them, then I feel like that'll be a huge waste of money. So for me personally, I felt like it's going to be more effective if I just buy it um, buy one at a time because I want to know if I'm going to use it. Now, I had no idea that this actually has the monthly views in it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that kind of makes me feel like I don't even really need this one. Hmm. Well, maybe I could use this one for like budgeting or maybe as a content planner. I know that's what my original plan for the undated one was, but to be honest, like I just don't put out enough content to need a content planner yet. So yeah, I had no idea that these also had the monthly views in them. So yeah, um, I don't know how I will use the other monthly planner. But yeah, so this is really cool. I'm actually really glad that it comes with those. So yeah, I'm really excited to just start using this. So the way that I use it in like my undated planner is I have like, these are daily tasks and habits that I can check off almost like a habit tracker. And then these, I just kind of categorize my to-do list. So like maybe I'll have a school to-do list, a home to-do list, a YouTube to-do list, or, you know, a cleaning to-do list, like whatever it is. Um, I can just kind of separate and organize my to do's every single day. And that really helps. I don't like putting all of that in my life planner. I like having it in a separate system. My life planner is more just planning out my week and seeing what comes up the bigger picture. And then this is more, um, I cannot think of the word, but this is like a more focused, um, way of looking at each day. So really excited to start jumping into those. I hope that they work well for me. Um, because I'm really excited to use it. The next one that I picked up was a self-care journal. So I'm really <laughs> stressing the importance of self-care lately um, in my personal life. I just feel like I don't do enough of it and I pour a lot of myself into school and my career. And now that I'm wrapping up student teaching and I'm jumping into my career, full on, I want to make sure that I'm balancing out my life, my personal life and my job life and that I'm not pouring too much into my career cup. So I thought that this might be a good way for me to take action and really start taking care of myself. I love this. Um, it has like a self care this week looks like, and I love that because every week can look so different. Um, you know, some weeks it may just be like drinking lots of water because we have a choir concert coming up. And then the next week it could be like taking a bath every single night because I need it. Um, so I just love that it has that. And then how I need support, what support looks like, today's positive thought, I absolutely love, mood log, sleep log, which is also important. I need to <laughs> really start getting better sleep today's self-care so exactly what I'm going to be doing that day to take care of myself and then other ways I ended up taking care of me today and so then it has one for every day and then you start a new week so then you can track the week so here I can actually keep track of like any habits that I'm wanting that as far as that are pertaining to taking care of myself I feel like that's kind of redundant if I'm also kind of using like a habit tracker here. Um, 
but I feel like this one is a little more focused on self-care in general, so I'll be able to use that, and then at the end of the week, I can reflect. I feel like this is a lot to fill out, and I am known for not really keeping up with stuff, but that's a huge goal of mine in 2020, is to really, like, find things that work for me and stick with them, and so I if it doesn't work for me, then I'll know not to buy this again, but I'm really hoping that it will. Um, my plan is to get up 30 minutes earlier than I normally do every day, just to sit down and like, you know, go through my petite, my daily petite planner, plan out my day, go through my self-care journal, make sure I set myself up for um, self-care for the day or the week or whatever it is. Um, I could do this weekly, I could do this daily, not really sure yet, but I'm really excited to have this. And of course, it comes with these beautiful stickers. I think these are so pretty. I love the floral patterns. And yeah, this is just such a cute planner. I was torn between this one and then there was another one. I think it was called the I Am Enough journal. And that was more of like a mental self-care sort of journal. But I thought that this one I could kind of hit all around physically, mentally, emotionally all of that. So I definitely plan on putting that in my portfolio. And then the last one that I picked up is the gratitude, gratitude journal. And this is the edition two. I really wanted to buy the first edition because I haven't used these gratitude journals yet, but they're actually sold out. And I feel like they've been sold out for a while. Cause I think I tried to buy it at another point and then changed my mind, but um, I just think this is really, really important for me to do at the end of every day because I do <laughs> stress myself out very easily. And I think it's very easy to get in my head and have a lot to complain about every single day. And I've noticed that about myself and I don't love it. I don't want to be that person that just comes home and complains about everything. And so I thought, you know, I need a mindset change. And I think this is a great way to do that is to, you know, it's just one prompt a day, ways I loved myself today, write them down. Ways I supported others today, write them down. Beautiful things about today, how I was creative today. Like these prompts are just so good, so simple. What I let go of today, good laughs I had today. Like these are just so perfect. It's a great way to just think of what you were grateful for today and all of then reflect on all of the good things that happened. Um, and then I love this. They have a 30 day reflection at the end of every month. So this will be perfect to start up in January. So I can write down my favorite moments, things I learned, 30 day observations, ways I've grown, and then looking forward goals and intentions, looking forward to things to improve on and next 30 day focus. This will go perfectly in line as well with my um, 2020 Cultivate What Matters power sheets. Um, I think it'll just kind of go hand in hand with, I don't know, kind of focusing what my goals for each month are really going to be and what I'm going to focus on um, based on, you know, what I discovered that I was grateful for every day and that sort of thing. So it's a way, when a goal of mine is to become more appreciative of life and the little moments, um, I think this just goes hand in hand with that goal in itself. So really excited to use this. And again, this also comes with beautiful stickers. Um, I just love the little uh, designs that Erin Condren comes up with. I think they're so pretty. So really excited. If you guys have used the gratitude journal before, leave a comment in this video um, about, you know, what your thoughts were and if you used it every day. I cannot get this sticker sheet back in. Um, and also tell me if you've used the other gratitude journal, if you liked edition one or edition two more. There's also a third one that they had online that's like limited edition and I almost got it. I can't remember. It's a collaborative journal. I can't remember who. It's like sprinkles and joy or something like that. Um, and I almost got it just because it was exclusive and I was like, maybe I should get that one first because then I won't be able to buy it in the future. But, um, I was really drawn, honestly, I was just really drawn to the color and the floral pattern of this one. So I just went with that one. Okay, then let's go ahead. So that's all of the petite planners and journals that I bought. I decided to just stick with four. I had like eight in my cart, but I also have 
like the budget one, the meal planning one, um, a goal setting one, and then I have like another journal um, that's just sitting in my room right now that I haven't used yet. And so I was like, you know what? I need to use what I have. Um, I've kind of been saving those for 2020 anyways. Um, so I'm going to use what I have and then I can buy more later. But I was like, Taylor, don't go overboard. Okay, we're getting close, I promise. So the next thing I bought were two more um, on-the-go folios. So right now, I only have the champagne gold one and I have the new 2021 that came with um, the winter seasonal surprise box. So I stuck some of the journals in there that it came with. My goodness, why isn't this focusing? There we go. So this planner has like the new weekly intentions and goals planner that came in there. And then the um, bullet journal. And then I went ahead and stuck in here my budget book that I haven't used yet and my meal planning book that I also have not used yet. So I kind of just stuck all of those in the new plan, the new on the go folio. My other folio is actually in my bag right now and it has my undated daily petite planner, my undated monthly planner, and then it just has a um, uh, lined journal in there. But anyways, so I've really been, had my eyes on these new on-the-go folio colors um, just because I am really loving this new system and I want to start using it. So I'm going to get bored of the same covers all the time. So I did pick up this mustard yellow cover, which I'm so excited about. This cover feels so different from my champagne gold one. Um, but I did, like once I started putting my books in the new one, I decided that I really do love that they tightened these strings because in my champagne gold one, they were really loose and I actually like untied and retied it. Um, so I was a little nervous seeing that they added this little thing because I was like, oh, it's going to be harder to adjust. But I actually don't need to do any adjusting. They're nice and tight. They hold all of your books in really well. So I'm super excited to have this color. It's just so cute. And I think it'll look really cute with that mustard yellow polka dot cover that I just bought for myself as well. So I picked that up. And then the other folio that I picked up is the wine color, which is also just so gorgeous. This actually, I think will go really pretty with my current, um, fossil bag that I use. It's actually more of like a dark brown color, but it could almost pass as like a wine color. So anyways, I thought this would just match my leather bag that I usually carry my petite planner in. So absolutely love it. I was going to buy myself like the charcoal gray planner, but since the 2020 folio that they came out with is charcoal gray, I was like, oh, that kind of works out. The only thing is that I feel like I'm only going to be able to use it for 20. I'm only going to be able to use it for 2020, but hey, at least I um, like got it in the seasonal surprise box, which made it cheaper than if I would have bought it on its own. So anyways, yeah, so now I officially have like four different petite planner covers. I'm really excited to kind of switch them out and use those. The last thing that I got for my on-the-go folios are these insert organizers, which I am so excited about. So I normally buy like those uh, little sticky pockets to add inside of my planner, which let me grab my other planner real quick. Okay, so this is my champagne color folio. Oh my goodness, I forgot my pen was on there. Um, but see, I added these large sticky pockets on the inside so that way I could just slip extra things in there. What is on here? But now with these organizers, I don't think that I will really have to do that um, because these should fit like extra things. So let's kind of open this. It does say it has three small pockets, two medium pockets, and one large pocket. 
So let's kind of test this out. I bought two because I'm thinking that I could potentially be using two on the go systems at the same time. One that I kind of just like keep at home, like the one that I'll put my gratitude journal and self-care journal and that sort of stuff. I'll probably just keep that by my bed. And then the one that's like my daily petite planner and stuff, I will take home or take with me on the go. But let's see, let's see how this fits. So you should just be able to slide it right in, I'm assuming. Oh my goodness, yes, this is perfect. And then you should easily be able to slip like cards or sticker sheets. Let's see what else we can fit in here. Okay, so let's take like one of these sticker sheets. If you don't want them like in the back of each planner, you should be able to fit them in here. Yes, they, are, they fit so perfectly. Let's see. Yep, and then it just kind of folds right over. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then over here, you should be able to put like compliment cards or business cards if you have them. So here I have some of the Erin Condren compliment cards. It's kind of weird though, because it has like, what did this say? Okay, so it said, Medium pocket, medium pocket. Oh, the small pockets are on the other side. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. So this side has three pockets. Okay, so these are three different ones here. And then this side has two medium pockets. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. So you can store all kinds of stuff in here Oh my gosh, I love that. And you don't have to end up buying the sticky pockets to fit stuff in. This is like so perfect. This honestly just got me really excited. Um, I think it makes these folios like so much more functional and you can just kind of like carry a lot more with you. I think that that's really awesome. This is super exciting. So I think I'll be making a separate video um, setting up my on-the-go folios and that sort of stuff and kind of keep you guys updated on how I use these systems, but I'm really excited that Erin Condren has put so much out there with these, with this planning system because I think that it's just so customizable and there's so many different ways that you can use um, the petite planners and the petite system, so I don't know. I'm really excited. I think it'll be super fun in 2020 to see how it all works out for me. Okay, what else? <laughs> you guys, I told you, I bought so much stuff. I knew this was gonna be kind of long, but I love watching haul videos, so I couldn't not share these with you guys. Okay, the next thing I got was the new monthly collection sticker book, which I am so excited about. I do have the older ones, so this is edition three and edition four. So this one is a little bit different in size in comparison, which makes me think it might have less stickers. But I love buying these sticker books, especially for the holiday stickers and stuff that come in them and just having those for every month. So I just wanted to kind of flip through these with you guys so you could see. I love that huge Valentine's Day sticker. It's so pretty. These might even be fun to use, like, you could use them in, like, an undated monthly petite planner. You could use them in a petite planner in general. You could use them in your life planner. I like to use them usually on my notes pages in my life planner. But the past few months, I quit using, these are so pretty. I quit using the month, or the notes pages just because the dashboard that they added in the 2019 life planner honestly just kind of overwhelmed me. So I kind of quit using the system because I felt like, I don't know, 
it wasn't working for me. But these colors and stuff and patterns are very similar to what they always have. The only thing I don't like is this washi is a lot shorter. So it's kind of what you're missing. In these older ones, you had like longer washi that you could use. And now they're kind of short. So it honestly kind of does feel like they're more for the petite planners. And since they've put so much out, oh, so cute. Since they put so much out for the petite planners, I'm wondering if that was kind of their intention. Those are so cute, the little ghosts. Ah, oh, I love October. It's my favorite month. Happy Thanksgiving. These are so pretty. I honestly might end up getting another one of these. And then December. I'm glad they actually put a Happy Holiday sticker because in my December plan with me, I was looking for one that said, like, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, and they didn't have one. <laughs> So I'm glad that they added one in there, although it's huge, but yeah, so that's the new monthly collection sticker book, which I'm really excited to use. Um, it's definitely a little different than their other ones, but that's okay. All right. I just have a couple more things. So the last two things are, were kind of my big per purchases, um, that I'm really excited about. So First, I'm going to pull out, I don't even know if I can get this in the frame, but, ooh, I can. Look at me. So this is the monthly metallic desk pad. Now, I've never used a desk pad before, mostly because I've never truly had a desk for me to sit at, but I thought this would be perfect um, for my desk in my classroom to start using in January. Now, it is a 17-month I can't, yeah, it started in August 2019, which I think that they should have reduced the price on it. They didn't, but I had the 30% off plus the 20% off, so it kind of worked out anyway. I would not have bought this at full price just because all those extra months are kind of a waste. Um, but, yeah, I'm sure most of you have seen this before. I can take it out just real quick. Okay, so you can kind of see, let's see if I can get it flipped open. So it does start in August. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can. So it's super pretty. I mean, it's so simple, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Like having this sit on your desk, I think would be so pretty. Um, honestly, I feel like I'm gonna be scared to write on it, but I just love it. I think it's the perfect size. I love the foil um, and it just looks so pretty. I think it'll be the perfect accessory. I think, like I said, I've decided to go with kind of gold accessories. So that August one is so pretty. Um, but then each one has like its typical monthly color in a different foil. Now this is very good quality. This paper is super thick and it's very nice. So like I do think it was pretty overpriced, but for the price I bought it for, I don't think it was too bad. And then Back here in the back, let me pull these out. Let me just show you, like I said, I'm sure most of you have already seen this, but here are all of the stickers that come in the back of this thing. I think I'm gonna really try and use these because why not? I mean, there's so many. There's the happy birthday stickers, a lot of them. Um, to do, reminders, and just, I don't know, tons and tons of stickers. I think I'm probably actually gonna like pull this out um, and then have it like put somewhere where I can access it easily and then use those as I'm writing things down. So I'm so excited to use this. Like I said, never had a desk pad before, um, but I think I'm gonna like just having like quick access, something quick to jot things down and look at from my desk. So, yay, I'm so excited about it. All right, now the thing is gonna be like making sure I keep this in good condition, getting it to my new classroom. But I basically just have like a bunch of classroom stuff stored all over my room and in my house while I'm like waiting to move into my classroom. I really hope that they let me get in pretty early. I have a few weeks and I should be able to get in. Okay, one very last item and then that will wrap up this haul. But you guys, I'm so excited. 
Okay, so this is the brand new um, tote bag. So these are the ones that are a little bit smaller than the original ones. And I got it in da, 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 the black, which I am so excited about. So let me just get this open. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Merry Christmas to me. This was kind of the thing that I spoiled myself with, which this was not too expensive. I think that the price point on these bags was just perfect, but this is the brand new smaller tote bag in black. It is not leather like the original one, which I'm very happy about. From the reviews I saw of the black leather bag, I was not impressed and I did not want to purchase one. When the tote bags came out, I looked at them, I read the reviews, and I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get one. And I ended up buying myself um, a leather fossil bag, which I can show you guys probably in another video. I think I'm going to show that as like what's in my planner bag sort of thing. Um, and I've been using that for mostly school stuff, but I wanted to use this as more of like a weekend bag. Um, it's a little bit smaller than my fossil bag, but I could easily carry like plenty of stuff in it. Um, so I'm sure you guys have seen reviews already, but I wanted to kind of show you guys it does come with a um, little key fob, which I'm so excited to use. And then it has an extra pocket on the side. They did a nice job of like stuffing these and making sure they stay nice. But yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, let's see, because I'm curious. Let's see how my planner fits in there. So here's my current planner. This is the life planner and it just slides right in there so easily. And then you can easily snap it and there it is. That fits perfectly. And there is still lots of room in here. Um, let me grab a couple extra things. Okay, so some typical things that I would normally carry would be like one of my water bottles. This is a fairly small water bottle from Target. Um, I have no idea if I would be able to fit this in here with my planner. Let's see, maybe if I like sat the planner up. Ooh, it does fit that way. That's good to know. Okay, so I can kind of fit it in there, but it doesn't like, it does stick out. So let's put this back in here. Another thing I would usually carry around with me is my glasses case. So I'm sure that that could fit in here easily. My wallet, this is a fossil wallet that I bought when I bought my other bag. Let's see how this, ooh, that slides in there really nicely. And it zips up. And that's probably all that I would really need to carry. Um, I kind of wish it had like a smaller pocket for like pens. But I'm sure if I carry like a planner pouch with me, let me take this calculator out of there because I don't really use it. Then I'd be able to fit it fine. Let's see. Oh, it does have a smaller pocket in here. There's two smaller pockets. I didn't notice those. So yeah, that actually works out perfectly. You can slip your pens. So honestly, this works perfect just for like, if it's just enough stuff, if you want to put your planner in there. If you do not want to put your planner in there, then you can definitely fit a ton of stuff. Um, see, I could probably fit my water bottle in there fine. It doesn't really sit up, but this is kind of a taller water bottle. Um, and then here's my keys. So, like, I can very easily slap my keys on there, pull them out. So that works out really well. And it looks like the hardware is in pretty good condition. It's not like too scratched up. That was kind of a problem with some of the other bags too. Um, and it seems like the hardware looks really nice. Um, and then one more thing, let's just put a petite planner in here so you can kind of see how that fits. You can set it down sideways or you can set it upright and then maybe stick something next to it. 
there's plenty of ways that you could use this. Now, I don't think that you could put like both your life planner and your petite planner in here. Let me take those things out. Let's see. So if we did life planner and then petite planner, mm, yeah. Oh, wow, it does fit. So you can actually zip it and clamp this and have both planners in there. Wow, I'm actually very impressed that it fits both of those. So if you're a two planner kind of girl, this actually fits them. And again, it's not as big as the other tote bags. The one thing I am curious about is seeing if I could fit like my whole large folio, or this isn't the large, it's a medium folio. I can fit the folio in there. So if you're worried about like rain or something else ruining your planner, if you put a put your planner in one of the medium folios and then just stick it in there, then it'll be totally protected and it fits perfectly inside this bag. Wow, you guys, I am actually so excited that I bought this. I think, like I said, it'll work perfectly. I like having my fossil, it's the Camilla backpack is the bag that I have currently. Um, Sarah Marie actually showed a video of her planner bag when she was using the Camilla backpack and I was like, I definitely want to get myself one of those because it, it, it is a backpack, so it's easy to carry a lot of things. Um, but when I'm not at school, like when I'm on break and stuff and I don't need something huge to take to school, um, then this will be a perfect option, especially for like a weekender bag and that sort of thing. I did, I almost forgot to show you, get the like black and white colored or black and taupe. It's a taupe color. It's not white strap for it. So, which again, I just love this strap. Um, it'll, it matches perfectly with the black. Like look how pretty those are together. I'm in love. It's so, so cute. Ah, and the hardware is gorgeous. The gold, I do like gold. So I'm very happy with the gold hardware. Um, but yeah, so there's my new Erin um, Condren tote bag, which I'm just seriously so excited to use. This also gives me another option because my fossil bag is like a deep brown, and now I have a black option as well when I want to, you know, change up the color, especially when I want, to, want it to go with my wardrobe. But all right, you guys, that should be it for this Erin Gondron haul. Thank you all so much for watching. I know this was a ton of stuff, but it's really exciting when I get to share with you guys my new Erin Gondron goodies. And it makes me also really excited just about planning for the new year and to see what 2020 has in store for me as far as setting goals and planning and, you know, all of that good stuff. So I can't wait to share with you guys and keep you updated on what works for me and maybe what doesn't. And yeah, I hope to see you all in my next video. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye guys.